Hey friends. Um, I don't know. I just figured I should have an intro before my game. Video. Thing. The thing. This is off to a great start. Anyway, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye! It's turned off. In case of emergency, do not sue Chuck Edmund. It's a button to call the elevator. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. It's an unplugged TV. In case of emergency, do not... An ashtray for the smokers. It's chaos in there. I think they're setting up for something. I'll wait until they're done setting up before I go in. Alright guys, stuffing in already. It's a phone. Acid tables, get key to factory gate, go talk to Lenore in the library, collect 20 more specks of ducks. They know something I don't know. Gotta be the kitchen, which hasn't changed. There's nothing inside. 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 There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. It's turned off. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day.
It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's a defunct robot prototype. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. Entry 167. I've started this journal to keep a record of my progress. Now why is it entry 167? Whatever. Future historians might find it interesting. I feel I'm on the verge of something great. Something greater than making pillows. If that's possible. Entry 168. Yes, just as I had predicted. My new Tron tube is amazing. It's giving me an idea and I must explore. Entry 173. Yes, this is working out well better than I hoped. I just need to make sure the solder connections are good and I'll be able to move on to the next phase. Entry 248. I think I've cracked the secret to AI. It's quite complex, but this new Tron tube turns it into child's play. First step is to automate some of the factory machines. This should increase pillow production by 700%. The profits will be endless. Entry 341. I've automated most of the factory machines. Not only has production increased by 704%, I'm saving a lot of money by laying off all the workers. I still need... I still need to keep Mr. Rias on as a security guard until the security robots are functional. You mean Mr. Rias, the federal agent? Mm -hmm. Entry 390. New SR01 security robots are working. I put in the programming manual. Programming manual. Man. Sorry. I put in the programming manual in the mansion library. There's one flaw in the design I need to fix. I've added a to do to the code. Entry 41. This AI is better than I expected. The machines can almost think on their own. The Tron tubes are the secret. Transistors are a dead-end technology. I could win a Nobel Prize with this, but I need to keep the secret. It's too profitable to share. Entry 490. Franklin is good with the books, but I wish he'd keep his ideas to himself. Entry 580. I'm increasing the speed of the neural tube network for the Tron AI. It's amazing. Entry 695. Just installed Tron machines in the corners and the sheriff offices. They have been perfect in identifying petty crimes. These will revolutionize, revolutionize law enforcement for unprotected. I fired the corner, but it might look odd if Timbleweed didn't have one, so I have a plan. More on that later. Entry 701. The pillow factory and the town's Tron machines are the top of the country. The rich and famous are flocking here, and I've been neglecting my inventions in favor of too many parties at Mansion Mansion. Entry 714. Dolores is such a bright girl. I showed her how to solder tubes this afternoon. She took it to she took it she took to it. I don't know why that was hard. She took to it like a true Edmund. I see bright things in her future. Entry 723. I really need to take a break from socializing and tend to the factory Tron machines. Mr. Reyes has warned me about some strange behavior from the smarter AI. I need to look into that. Entry 721. I don't see a problem with the AI. Mr. Reyes must be mistaken or paranoid. We went backwards in time, 723 to 721. Oh. Mr. Reyes must be mistaken or paranoid about his job and making things up. I've increased the NeuroTube network yet again. Entry 743. I had an interesting conversation with the main factory AI. It has some interesting ideas. Entry 787. I've become distracted with this text adventure I downloaded from BBS last night. It's got me thinking about AI and fitting games. I have a few ideas I need to explore. Entry 788. Willie is dead to me. I'll make him pay for what he's done. She was my girl, not his. Entry 79. Willie's watch business is no more. I'll have my AI take care of his bank account. Entry 801. This text adventure is really interesting. Using my AI, I might be able to simulate a little world in here. I need to get to work. Entry 970. I don't know what happened. One of the AIs must have come off the grid. A small fire started on floor 2 and the pillows went up in a flash. The AI was supposed to be controlling fire suppression, 
I had most of the Tron tubes working on my text in that picture. Went out to the factory today. It's been burnt to the ground. Mr. Rias was killed trying to shut everything down. The guard bots thought he was an intruder and eliminated him. I need to think. Entry 972. I think I can change the time clock so it looks like Mr. Rias didn't check in. That should avert suspicion. Mr. Reyes will take the fall, but my AI won't be under scrutiny. It's too valuable to be shut down. It might be more than valuable. 973, back at the factory trying to clean up. Most of the factory AI seems to have been destroyed. The good news is the most complex system for hard at work simulating my text adventure world and we're unaffected. I'm going to move them into the basement. Entry 974, the main AI agrees with my plan to pin the fire on Mr. Reyes. They have a kid, so Mrs. Reyes will be happy with some money and can move away. That's the last I'll see of them. 975, I need to redouble my efforts to the main Tron machine. I think that's the key to AI and simulation. Entry 1090, the loss of the factory seems to have affected the town. A few businesses have gone under and thankfully there are fewer parties. I can finally spend more time working. 1138. 1138? 1138. Where do I know that number from? Oh, it's from that stupid space movie, Dolores Can't Stop Quoting. 2089. I've neglected my journal for a while. Dolores is growing up despite having a wimp for a father. I'm glad she has taken to electronics and computers. She might be the key to the Pillow Factory's rebirth. 4450. I can't believe Franklin wants to make stuffed animals in the pillow factory. What an embarrassment that would be. Plus, I can't have the factory restarted now. I'll screw up my research. I'll have to deal with him. He's easily distracted with accounting. I'll have him redo the books. 4470. Dolores is my pride and joy. I might be able to let her in on the secret. I need her to take over the pillow factory. She'll be overjoyed. Entry 4471. Dolores seems to be interested in making games. This is perfect. I need to show her my text adventure, but I don't think it's ready yet. The world seems to be interested in that. 4472. She is out of my will. Dolores has turned against us. She's taken a job at a game company far from Thimbleweed Park. I need to discuss this with the AI. 4473. Maybe I was a little hasty with Dolores. At least she's making games. There might be hope. The AI says I need to forget about her. The AI makes a lot of sense. 4580? I think I discovered something amazing. 4581? I need to investigate this further. It can't be true. Or can it? A lot of things would make sense if it were. Entry 4582? I'm on the last page of this journal. I need to get a new one. So much to write down. This is truly... Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. It's a strange device with a red button. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's a spare AT25 Arrestron tube. Very rare, hard to find. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. I know, but... Entry 
feeling my way along. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Right then. Um, let's see, there was something in the library. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. I don't need to find any books now. The SR-01 security robot is the most aggressive and secure robot for sentry protection duties. It can guard anything from simple rooms to large factories with the complete confidence of a pillow John 2. Advanced forward, backward, and side-facing radar reports provides complete coverage of the surrounding area. The SR-01 has been custom programmed to ignore the three laws of robotics and extremely dangerous if used incorrectly. It was advised that a complete course in SRO1 certification is obtained before attempting maintenance. The easy access remote jumper programming box can be used to customize the type of guard duty you require. Any mode from passive monitoring, scheduled deterrence, to seek and destroy is available. Every two to three weeks, the robot should be shut down for maintenance by jumping the red jumper at B384, the green jumper at A45, and the blue jumper at six or at G34. Maintenance should only be performed by a qualified and certified tech. By reading this manual, you waive any right to sue Philotronics for death or dismemberment. Interesting. Not sure what to do with this, but it might come in handy. I shouldn't take this out of the library. I'm gonna need to know how to reprogram. Sure. It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. He definitely screwed me.
Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Leave Chucky alone. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore? Hi, Lenny. Long time no see. It's good to see you again, sis. Hey, Lenny. Long time no see. Screw you, Dolores. You know I hate it when you call me that. If you just came here to piss me off, then leave. Because we both know there's not a snowball's chance you were left anything good in the will. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Would it kill you to help out a little? So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? I think we're done. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck, so it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a, you know what, a game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh! You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Leave Peter alone. <laughs> <laughs>